then it is the final countdown. Thank you so much for joining us again for this final countdown now for the official wrap-up of the ITV Berlin Convention 2022 of the second day with the theme of digitalization. Leah, what a day, right? Oh, yeah, it was. And <laughs> I, I mean, it's over now already. Like, I can keep on going, right? It's like, I mean, it's so much fun to hearing from all these experts, being in touch actually again with colleagues and peers from the industry, having them welcome like, here in the studio, like on site, talking to them face to face. I really enjoyed it. Like, absolutely. it was an uh, absolutely, yeah, wonderful day. Yeah. Again, a highlight now after you had the full day to digest, so to say, was there something that stood out particularly for you? Yeah, well, if I check, it's not digested yet. <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm still like soaking everything up. Like a yeah, like a um, like I want to just listen more and and read into it. But um, yeah, if you ask me like that and on the spot, I think there's a few themes that remain with us right after that day. So one thing I think is clear: there there is a change happening. Uh, consumer demands have changed. They are expecting uh, what they're experiencing in their private life, also in their travel experiences, but also in their business life and their working life. It's just the overall blend, right? So. It's the e-travel track here today. So I think technology is uh, not optional anymore. It's that will just drive optimization in our industry. It will increase the ex customer experience. It will better the collaboration amongst players within the travel industry. And um, yeah, I think that's just one thing, right? So technology is key here. It's, that will be the interface to better our industry. Then we heard a few keywords, like for example, flexibility is something that probably won't go away. So companies have just to prepare to remain flexible and offering flexibility to anyone, their teams internally, external to their customers and partners. We talked a lot about collaboration needs. Um, so I think the overall level of collaboration increased a bit. That's at least what I sense personally, not only in, in terms of technology, the need for connectivity, data sharing, or just like really interacting together because certain problems, like as we, for example, discussed in the panel about digital identities, we can just solve it by ourselves, right? And also it was stated correctly, even the best technology by itself is not helping us. So we have to do it all together. So that's something I really take away. So we need each each of us here in uh, our industry to work together on a common goal. And right, I, just to summarize it, I think there's exciting times ahead. And uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow so much because there we dive into a very important topic as well, sustainability. Katie, what, Absolutely. what do you think? Can you tell us a little bit more, if you could wrap it up in one hashtag, what would be the hashtag of the day? I know it's been a tough program, you know, filled with different hot questions, different debates, of course, but is there one hashtag that, or one keyword that came up over and over and over again? Right. I mean, I, I would stick with the hashtag of collaboration, I think, because that's just uh, across all verticals, across all themes. When I carefully listened, um, you can't do it by yourself. We need each other and we need to work together and make it happen. So yeah, collaboration. And for me personally, I think just um, well, travel just rules, right? So that's what we heard in any session. It's not a question about if there's demand and if people would like to travel and if travel is nice or cool. No, it's, it's a fact. People love to travel and they will travel if they can. So I think that's just fantastic that's to great close to today with. Yeah. Especially in these times, we will see into Absolutely. these times and questions, of course. Also, you mentioned it tomorrow will be another day here at the ITB Berlin Convention about sustainable and responsible tourism. But besides that, are there any dates to remember in our calendars? Do we have to mark any dates yeah, first already? Of, yeah, first of all, I'm super grateful for everyone that joined us today here and stick with us for the entire day. I mean, eight hours full of content, it was just amazing. And, and we felt it, right? We felt everyone joining us virtually. We're going to check out all the social media posts as well later on. And we will be back here, of course, tomorrow with the ITB Berlin Convention. It's a super exciting program. Check it out on itb.com. Um, but another save the date every one of you should put into the calendar to connect and actually do business again in travel is the ITB Digital Business Day on 17th March. So find all information as well online. Uh, I'm looking forward to see you back there the latest virtually. And from the 5th to the 7th April, ITB India takes place virtually as well. So head to itb-india.com and um, I'm looking forward to that as well because there's a lot of great content waiting for us too. So yeah, I'd Thank say you very that's much. it. Absolutely. Leah, I would say. Yeah, it's a wrap. It's a day. It was hey, super much up. fun. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. It was very, very nice to moderate the day with yes. you, Leah. Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back tomorrow, as mentioned, with sustainability and responsibility in the tourism and the travel industry. I'm very much looking forward to see you tomorrow. Stay strong.